Which you guys got another video here for you on how to set up a wireless network printer in Windows 10. Now, if you've got a printer and you don't want to use USB or Ethernet uh, and you want to use wireless, then you can do. All you need to do is plug it into the wall and then go into your menu and you'll be able to set up a wireless connection. You don't need to connect uh, to the computer to set it up. I'll show you how to do it. So what we're going to do here is plug in our printer. This is a Canon printer. You can use it uh, for pretty much any other type of printer. All you need to do is plug it into the wall and then we're going to go into the menu and go into our network settings. And this will allow us to connect. So on our menu, uh, yours may be different here. So just use the swipe on the Canon here and hit LAN settings, wireless uh, LAN setup. And then we're going to go for other setup here. I'm going to click on advanced setup and it will start searching for a wireless router. Select your wireless router SSID and then your WPA WPA2 uh, so you can put in your phrase. Now this will be 8-64 characters so you need to enter those in. Just tap on the uh, enter characters on the screen and this will allow you to enter them in. Okay. Now I've entered my uh, phrase inside here and you just do that by the little uh, QWERTY keyboard layout here. So I'm just going to do one more to show you. And those are the last two letters that I need. And then once you've done that, click on OK. And you should see your characters uh, there. Just now click OK and it will then start to connect to your wireless router. It will say connected successfully. And that part is now completed. What you need to do once that's connected is go over to your computer. Now I'm running a Windows 10 system here. So what I'm going to do is uh, be connecting it to my Windows 10 operating system. On my Windows 10 machine, I've already got the driver installed for my printer. So I'm gonna to go to settings, and then devices. Now you need to make sure that you have got your drivers uh, installed for your printer. And uh, I'm gonna then select printers and scanners. You should see your printer here if you've been using a USB uh, connection. So now I'm gonna add a printer or scanner and let it scan and it should detect your printer. And you can see here it's detected my printer. So I'm gonna click on this and click add device. And it will start to connect. It will take a bit of time, so be patient. And then you should see a different type of connection for this printer, it should have WS on it. There we go and uh, click open uh, the utility for that. And you can see here we're now connected and we can go ahead and make uh, a printed document on this system uh, with the wireless printer, it's that simple. Now if it doesn't detect your uh, Wi-Fi connection for your printer, you will need to search for it and put in your IP address for that wireless printer. And you can see it here, I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do here is manage uh, the connection. You can see we do have two here. One of them was for a USB. I can remove that if I wish and just use the wireless connectivity. Now click manage. Now inside here, we're gonna click printer properties. And if you are having trouble uh, detecting your printer here, you can come into here and go over to where it says ports tab here. And you can see we're already connected. But if you don't see that connection there and you can't connect, then you can add a port then go to standard TCP IP port, new port, and then go next, and you'll be able to put your uh, printer name or your IP for your printer in there, okay? And put the port uh, uh, name in there as well, and then click next and it will connect, okay? And that's basically how you can connect if it's not detecting your uh, wireless printer. It's normally pretty good at connecting those uh, modern day printers, but if it's a really old one, uh, it might not detect it, so uh, you may need to use the IP method. But this is quite a modern day printer and it detected it pretty easy, as you can see in the video. Anyway, that's pretty much about it for this with this one here. That's uh, the Canon MG6800 series. Um, but if you've got a different type of printer, it will be the same sort of process, really. You just have to go through that process of connecting it the way I showed you. Uh, make sure the drivers are installed on Windows 10 and also uh, go ahead and use the uh, method I showed you for the printer. 
Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. Thanks again for watching, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.